now available in paperback and e-readers. John Haynes, Taking Care of Business. The man who rules the world breaks in a brand new partner to help him take care of business in this action-packed, all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Taking Care of Business at paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere. The late, great David Carroll once stated that the Afro-American Negro is the laughingstock of civilization. And a textbook example to prove David Carroll's point is being presented to us in the behavior of current New York Mayor Eric Adams. Now your Eric Adams is the second black man to become the mayor of New York City and his behavior over the past three months that he's been the mayor of New York has been practically embarrassing to watch. And it's embarrassing to watch because it's clear to me that your Eric Adams clearly does not understand how to behave like a man and he doesn't understand that when you're a black man out here you are not just representing yourself you are representing the race as a collective and when people see you out here participating in behavior like saying that we're going to beat COVID with swag this makes all heterosexual black men look bad because the way you are behaving represents heterosexual black men by proxy and when they see a black man going out here and going out participating in very ignorant behavior on social media like mayor adams has done over the last week where he went out here doing these photo ops with places like ufc and places like his old high school these behaviors are something that are made to breathe brand new life into old stereotypes about black men because when i looked at all of these images that of your mayor adams presenting himself on social media it's clear to me that your eric adams did not have a father in his life because the only males who go out here and post multiple images of themselves on social media are males who are raised in single mother households no a man who is on social media understands that the social media he presents is a reflection of himself and he needs to watch how he presents himself on social media platforms because again it not only reflects him as a man but it also re reflects the entire race by proxy because every time a black man participates in embarrassing behavior it is used by white supremacists and racists to say that there is an example of how black people behave when they get power and your eric adams is a textbook example of what racists say about black people when they go out here and get some sort of power now when i think about your eric adams he's really reminding me a lot of george jefferson from that classic 1970s sitcom the jeffersons now the character of george jefferson was a black man who had finally gotten some success and as he moved on up to the east side he showed how ghetto he was by the ignorant way he behaved and it was the ignorant way he behaved that was really the whole joke of the show and the whole joke of the show was people weren't laughing with george jefferson no they were laughing at george jefferson because George Jefferson was not acting like a man who knew how to carry and conduct himself and because he thought he had arrived and been around white people he thought he was some sort of special Negro and that is the exact same way your New York mayor Eric Adams is behaving right now just like your George Jefferson and your George Jefferson would go out here 
and he would buck dance and bojangle in front of white people, not understanding the way he was behaving was not something that was endearing him to white people. And the thing that he was doing was looking to be liked, and looking to be liked showed how insecure your George Jefferson was, and that's the way your Eric Adams is behaving right now. He's going out here looking to be liked by people, and he's going out here skinning and grinning, buck dancing and bojangling, not understanding how optically this looks bad for him, because when a man goes out here looking for the approval of others, what that does is show people that he's coming from a position of weakness. And when a man comes from a position of weakness, what that does is send a message to others that they do not need to respect him. And when a man doesn't understand how to carry and conduct himself in a social circle like a man and comes from a position of weakness, they don't really regard him in any way, shape, or form. And this is a bad thing for a man to be in when he's in a position of authority, like a position like the mayor of New York. Because if your mayor is coming across as weak, what people are going to do is not really see him as somebody they need to regard and when they don't see him as somebody they need to regard they go out here and this is why you have all of this anarchy continuing to go on here in new york as related to the crime now most people elected your new york mayor eric adams to the position of mayor because they thought he would be a better choice than bill de blasio but it's looking like he's a worse choice than bill de blasio because it's looking like to me that he's a beta male and that was shown to me by many of the images he posted of himself on twitter because when i looked at these tweets that he was posting as related to his so-called photo op it was optically embarrassing to watch a new mayor in the first 90 days of his office going out here and presenting himself out here having a good time when there's a budget crisis of eight billion dollars and crime is running rampant in the city and the homeless are practically terrorizing people every day on the new york city subway this is not the, a good look for a man who's supposed to be a leader to be out here having a good time and it really makes this mayor not look like he's taking his job seriously when he's out here having photo ops when the city is in the middle of a crisis no a leader leads by example and they set a course for where they want to go in their first 90 days and in that first 90 days they are laying out their agenda for how they want to solve problems now it has practically been 60 seven or 68 days as related to your Eric Adams and he has not really laid out his vision or a direction for himself and after he got emasculated by those black women in the state legislature he practically has shown that he has fallen completely apart as a leader instead of him d taking the L bouncing back and calling out those two state uh, people who run the state legislature who are both black women as saying hey you're supporting pookie and ray ray in terrorizing the community this guy goes out here and folds like a two dollar lawn chair and starts buck dancing and bojangling talking about new york city is back but how is new york city back when crime is out of control and a good portion of New Yorkers who have not taken the jab are not back on the job paying taxes to generate revenue to be able to pay to help the fix this 
$8 billion deficit. You have a man out here celebrating a victory when he has not even finished accomplishing anything, and that is another dysfunctional trait of your beta males that are out here. They go out here and celebrate little victories and go out here and have a good time, not understanding that the work needs to be finished before you can celebrate anything. And again, I, when I saw that behavior on Twitter, it, again, it was embarrassing to watch. And what was really even sad was you have even your Curtis Sliwa, a white racist to some people, come out and say, this behavior is embarrassing to watch and to see him out here skinning, grinning, buck dancing, and bojangling, embarrassing himself and also embarrassing black men by proxy because the way he's behaving is breathing brand new life into, again, that old stereotype from the classic sitcom, The Jeffersons, that was really a racist message to send to the world that if you give a black man any sort of power, he's not going to know what to do with it. Because that's the way many racists believe black people behave when they get power. And this was also presented in the movie Birth of a Nation. They believe that if you gave a black man power, things would get completely out of control. And what would happen is, is that once that black man was given power and got things out of control, they would have to bring the Ku Klux Klan in in order to get things in order. And again, when you have some black males out here, they don't understand how they look optically and they don't understand how they need to behave and operate in the streets. So they're out here thinking, oh, I've arrived. I'm having a good time because I finally moved up to the big house, but they don't understand how they are hurting the black race as a collective because as the whole thing is your behavior is what all of these white supremacists use to judge the entire race as a collective and when you when the whole message that they want to send is oh we gave this negro some power and he's shown us that he does not have the character to know how to carry and conduct himself and because he doesn't know how to carry and conduct himself, what we're going to do is deal with this male in one of the worst ways they can do. Because what the whole thing is, when you're a bootleg, you don't understand that these people, they set you up to fail. And basically, your Eric Adams is being set up to fail. And he's being set up to fail. And the sad part is, he's so caught up in his emotions like a female about all of the attention he's receiving from these white folks he cannot see the chess moves being made on him as we as as he goes on about his term as mayor of new york city because what they're doing is again using him as the guy to go out here and be the patsy so they can go out here and say this is an example of why we don't pick a black man to work in a high political office because when you give this Negro some power he doesn't have the character to know how to carry and conduct himself he doesn't have the intelligence to know how to go about handling day-to-day -day business and he's not fit for a leadership position and this is something that your white supremacy does they go out here and find these kinds of black males they go out here and groom these black males. Then they put them in positions of power. And then after they put them in positions of power passively, they smile aggressively as they watch him fail. And that's what's happening to your Eric Adams right now. And what's really sad is he cannot see how he's being used as a political pawn to ensure no other black people rise to positions of power. Now, there are competent black people out here who can do this job of mayor of New York and have a vision and a direction for where they want to go. But sadly, those black people 
they don't ever really get a chance because the, many of these white supremacists, they love guys like Eric Adams who go out here and buck dance, bojangle, and bootlick and make all black men by proxy look like a bunch of clowns because what I saw on social media was absolutely embarrassing to watch and it showed me that it proved David Carroll's point about black men being the laughing stock of civilization. And the sad part is many of these black men, especially these baby boomer butter biscuit bootlicks, many of these men don't really know that they're being set up for a punchline and they go along with the punchline laughing with the people who are laughing at them. And I'm also reminded of something Mr. Superboy said many years ago about how your white racists go out here and they know who to pick. And they definitely knew who to pick with your Eric Adams. They knew who to pick because they knew who they could get in front of and they knew who they could gain an advantage of in the situation because usually what happens is they go out here and find some black man who they know they can go out here and not and they know he's not going to help black people and he's not going to help build anything in the black community excuse me and they know that this black man they can go out here and use him to generate wealth at the expense of black people so that's that's another thing that i look at your new york mayor eric adams again has done nothing in the last 90 days crime is up 60 percent right now we have the hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers still not working because he refuses to end a jab mandate for private businesses. And he's doing this while we have an $8 billion deficit. And he could, and he sits there and says, oh, I can't really do anything about this jab mandate. And again, and makes it all about Kyrie Irving. It's not about Kyrie Irving. You have an $8 billion deficit and you're talking about cutting homeless services and sanitation. Meanwhile, there's a whole bunch of tax revenue that could easily be made by the unjabbed going back to work. And he tells the unjabbed they can go into restaurants and movie theaters, but he doesn't want them working and bringing tax revenue to him, showing me that it's uh, he's not a critical thinker. He's emotional at, at best. And all of his behaviors are so effeminate it's all about trying to impress other people and that is a classic beta male and effeminate trait and it again shows that he's coming from a position of weakness and that's why white supremacy picked this bootleg because they knew they could get in front of this cream of wheat man and they knew they could get control over this cream of wheat man and use him to be their modern day minstrel who would go out here buck dance tap dance and shoe shine and sit there and think oh i'm a i've arrived and i am in a special place but what they're using him to be is the punchline of their joke and the sad part is he doesn't understand that they, as he goes out here acting like he's s such a big time guy he's looking like a big time fool and the whole thing is it's embarrassing black men and the whole thing is it makes all black men look bad as a collective this impacts every young brother out here who is in business this impacts every young brother who is out here in school and trying to make him something of himself that when we have guys like your eric adams out here embarrassing themselves it makes it harder for another brother to get out here and get uh, get himself a job or get his business going because they look at your Eric Adams not taking his work seriously and they project that onto all black men thinking that we don't take our work seriously and that if we put a black man in a position of power he's going to be a clown just like this clown and that's not the picture of black manhood we need out here there are lots of competent black men out here who are serious about their business serious about the way they carry and conduct themselves and understand 
how optically we have to go on out here as a man because again we are not judged as individuals we are judged as a collective and as a collective we are seen in a negative light and when we have a black man out here acting in an embarrassing way it affects us all when one of us is acting a fool out here it affects all of us and it's just embarrassing to see that your Eric Adams did not get the memo as related to how to carry and conduct yourself as a black man and he doesn't really understand how it is out here in these streets when a black man is out here making a fool out of himself and buck dancing and clowning it really it, it's it's just he did sad to see that he didn't get the memo on how to handle business because it shows me that he doesn't understand not only how to be the mayor of New York he doesn't even understand how to be a man now I believe your Eric Adams needs to go out here and pick up my book the man crisis because it's clear to me that he's a man in crisis and he's a man who's acting like one of those textbook beta males that I talk about in my book, The Man Crisis. And he's one who really doesn't understand how his behavior reflects on all black men. And now you can find The Man Crisis on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find The Man Crisis on Smashwords, the iBook Store, and Google Play. And that's and if you want to see me make more videos like this you can donate to my patreon my paypal or my cash app by clicking the links in the description box that's all i have to say for this video you can comment rate and subscribe coming to paperback and e-readers isis legacy the sorority secrets of the goddess next door are revealed in this all new isis series adventure pre-order your copy of isis legacy on amazon.com today